There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Hey guys, so today's video of course is about how I tie my headscarf. So I was requested like enough times and asked many times how I tie my scarf. So I figured what better way to tell you guys is to show you. Um, a lot of places that I get my scarves, because I do get that frequently asked to me, where do I get my scarves from? Like with this one here, I did get from the Savers Thrift Store. A lot of them, I would say like 80% of them come from the thrift store. They're basically just regular scarves that you would wear, but they're really long. So you can fold them in half and then they're just long enough. You can also buy fabric and material. They do have places where you can buy just specifically head wraps. Though they may cost a little bit more, but the material is a little bit different so yes so today's video I'm gonna show you how like a couple of ways that I wrap my scarf that I love to wear it as so that's basically the reason for this video okay guys so let's get started I'm gonna take this little fake bun that I made with another head wrap and I'm gonna place it on top of my head you know steady steady and I'm gonna take one of my favorite scarves it is folded in half because it's very wide you want to pull that tight towards your forehead tight as you can and I'm just going to start twisting it underneath as you can see right here I'm just twisting it I'm just gonna speed this up a bit you just want to kind of like twist it not twisting it like you know hair but just twisting it around and I want to take that one twisted piece of material and I'm just going to wrap it around that little faux bun and then tuck it underneath. That's just one way. You could either wear it to the side as you see that I have here or you can center it in the middle and you want to take that area where your little fake bun is at which is supposed to be like more hair for you and kind of like puff it up and this is what it basically would look like on the sides and in the back. You can make the bun faux bun bigger. It's all up to you. Now with that same faux bun, I'm going to take this same piece of material, the same piece of fabric, which I love so much, and I got this from the thrift store, and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pull that towards the front. I'm going to pull my hand up and underneath and pull the one side through. I'm going to take my hand and put it through the material, as you see, and pull it through. Then I'm going to tie it as tight as my forehead can take it and I'm going to make sure my faux bun is correct and I'm going to take that piece of material that's right there and pull it through kind of make it look like an Aunt Jemima type thing and tighten it a little bit more and I'm going to take the material I'm going to cross over in the front and I'm just going to basically twirl or twist it whatever you want to call those pieces and I'm going to go ahead and take that and wrap it around now this is kind of like the same thing that I did on the other one except for this is a little bit more fabric you get a little bit more twist so I kind of prefer this one a little bit more so I did the same thing I twisted that piece and I'm going to go ahead and twist it and twirl and I'm going to take that and wrap it around the opposite direction and make sure that I am tucking my ends underneath and making everything seal tight and neat And there you have it. I'm going to tuck that in. And that little piece right there, I'm going to tuck that up. And I'm going to push it up a little bit. And there you have it. Might want to just puff up your little faux bun. But this one has a little bit more knots. Now with the same piece of material, all I'm going to do is untwist it. I'm going to just twist it together like I was twisting hair. You know, like one of those little twisty braids. And I'm going to just take this and I'm going to just twirl it around. in Kind of like a circle in the front. Super easy. And just take the ends and tuck them underneath. I think I did this in the other tutorial, but either way, I'm going to show you guys again. So this is one where out of faux bun. I still have it on. I just took the faux bun out. And I'm just going to wrap, twist one end and wrap it around my big head. And just wrap it again. You know, wrap it around here, you see. And then kind of like twist it and kind of like tuck it in and pull it up. So you see that knot right there in the middle? The knot from where I tied it just kind of holds it as a barrier. We'll keep it in place. And I'm going to take the same opposite side. I'm going to do the same thing. And just 
twisty twist. I hope you guys are getting this because I would never want anything to be not understood. But this is what it should look like in the back. It doesn't have to necessarily look like mine, but somewhat like that. It looks cute if you wore your hair out or if you didn't have any hair. You just wanted to wear it like this. So this is what I've been doing a lot lately. So I'll take my half wig, half wig, wig, whatever, and I'll place it back, a little bit back. And being that half wigs don't have any combs on the sides, a girl be putting some bobby pins. It doesn't have to be a perfect half wig. You see, mine is old. I'm going to take one of my head scarves, and I've already got it folded in half, and I'm just going to put it right there on the back of my neck, and I'm going to pull it up in the back area. As you see right here, I pulled it somewhat up, and it fell back down, but that's okay. Now you want to take and you want to tie it in the front. Make sure you have no hairs getting stuck in that head wrap. And it's always best to do this with a nice long scarf because it comes out perfect. Now as you see, I have my ends here. I'm going to take one of my ends, you see that? And I'm going to kind of like open the fabric up and I'm going to bring it around, you see? I just brought that around, you see that? I opened it up and now I have two ends. One is a little bit shorter, but that's okay. And now I'm going to tie those together again. We got another tie thing going on here. And I'm just going to situate my hair, being that I fluffed open the sides of my fabric, you can push and smash your hair down. And then you just want to take it and twist it like if you was twisting hair, and just do your thing with it. And you don't have to do it like I do, mine's right here in the front, but you can just do a numeral thing. So here you see, I then twisted it, and wrapped it around, and I'm tucking it underneath. And as you see my half wig, it's kind of more or less to the side because I tucked in one side in, on that fabric. And as you can see, I'm going to do a slow turn. There you have it. I opened it up. As you remember, I was pulling it up in the back. That's how it looks when you op open the fabric. So it can, kind of like conceals more of the hair. And also, you can just do this in the front. Sometimes I may do this. and just twirl it around and, and tuck it and pin it. Had me like a little bun bun in the front. That's about it, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and stay diva and divalicious.